Welcome to your source for research, innovation, news, insights, and commentary. This is Research Business Daily Report, where we're proudly sponsored today and this week by Socratic Technologies, whose proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexities so that you can make more confident business decisions. The tremendous global demand for the next generation of analytics personnel has prompted IBM to sign a Memorandum of Understanding with China's Ministry of Education. The IBM U100 program will provide $100 million in software and related expertise to 100 universities in China. It's going to launch undergraduate programs in 30 universities and a center of excellence at five schools. The goal is to reach 40,000 students every year, enabling them to gain training and eventually expertise in big data and analytics, which led to my thought about, hey, IBM, do you have any interest in making a similar pitch here in the USA? If I've missed something and you already have such a program, please join us on RBDR and inform us. Next, one of the huge media stories in Canada has been Rogers Communications having won away the TV rights to the National Hockey League's telecasts and multimedia from that country's hockey institution, the CBC. In the Toronto Globe and Mail, reporter Susan Krasinski reported an important role for market research in Rogers' new marketing efforts behind its sports channel. That marketing plan has been shaped by a research project that asks Canadians to become quote-unquote fan advisors, including clarifying the relationship that new Canadians and young Canadians have with the NHL. And finally, Will Leach spoke with us recently at about the time he was opening the doors to his new research agency, Trigger Point Behavioral Research and Design. Will has a point of view about important change that he believes is coming and will be paramount that will separate research agencies from each other. I'll let him explain. Yeah, I think that right now our industry is focused so much on different measurement techniques, whether it's neuromarketing to understand engagement or maybe breakthrough, um, or whether it's the social sciences trying to understand persuasion and how do we persuade using uh, different behavioral economic principles. And so we come up to a place where we say, yes, these are the measurements that will focus and will focus people and breakthrough uh, through the clutter. So we get to that point, and then the, the taking that measurement data, then applying it, that to me is the future marketing research. We can measure all day long, and we can create lots of technologies to measure all day long, and scaling context is important, but at the end of the day, we don't have agencies out there that actually know how to apply, and then changing behavior. I think, I think our future is in changing behavior, not in measuring behavior. Hmm. And is this going to take the place of the traditional research that we've been so accustomed to using, or is it just a complement, an adjunct? Yeah, I think it's a complement, but I believe that in the future, you will be held accountable to not just measuring consumers and measuring you know behaviors but actually changing behaviors so in the future if you're just measuring to me that's a commodity anyone can measure data or anyone can measure behaviors you will be judged upon your ability to change a behavior what's the difficulty in taking that big step to make that measurement applicable Wow, great. Is, is it a technical question? Um, a little bit. I think it's more the, uh, we just talked about it actually on stage a little bit. I think it's actually the methods um, and the frameworks used to take that data to actually apply it. I, think, I don't think that enough people are studying the social sciences and thinking about motivational theory and behavioral economics to actually take that data and make it useful. There's too many theories out there. Hmm. Our thanks to Will for sharing his ideas, and here is his email address if you'd like to get in touch or provide him with a comment. That's your Research Business Daily Report, and we've been sponsored by Socratic Technologies, whose proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexity so that you can make more confident business decisions. You really ought to check out SoTech.com if you have not. This is a research agency that time and time again not only does excellent work, but breaks new ground, helping their clients get a better handle on what's really going on out there. We hope you have a great research day and that the rest of your research week go swimmingly. Please enjoy your summer weekend and whatever you have to do, get back and join us here on Monday.